Hey everybody, it's Kent. Welcome to another episode of What the Heck Has Kent Been Buying Lately. It's uh, Easter Sunday, so I figured I'm going to make a quick video. I'll probably post it tomorrow. Um, and then Tuesday, I'm heading down to Viroqua. Driftless Books is opening for the summer. So I'm excited to go down there and hopefully make a video showing you what I bought and showing off the bookstore down there. Hope everyone had a great Easter. Um, got to spend a few hours with the family. Got a little bit of free time here in the afternoon, so I figured I'd make a quick video. First, we have uh, Percy's Relics of Ancient Poetry. Pretty binding on that one. Relics of Ancient English Poetry consisting of old uh, heroic ballads, songs, and other pieces of our early Earlier Poets Together with Some Few of Later Date by Thomas Percy, 1859. There you got Mr. Percy himself. The beautiful background of the knights. Show you the contents pages quick if you want to see what's in this one. Oh, and it is illustrated. Beautiful illustrations again. 1859 poetry book with a pretty, pretty binding. Been buying lots of stuff on eBay lately. Um, this is a week's worth of purchases. I think there's 16 boxes. Um, and I usually open up the less exciting stuff during the week. Um, so this is just the more exciting stuff I buy. Got a nice uh, Thomas Campbell's Poetical Works. Beautiful Victorian binding on that one. Poetical Works of Thomas Campbell. Or Campbell, however you want to say it. No date on that one, but I would guess either 1870s or 1880s. And it's in pretty nice condition. So usually I do this on um, I do this live on YouTube on Monday afternoons, but um, I'm gonna record this a day earlier. It seems to be easier for people to find my videos if I um, post them versus doing live. So that's why I am recording this early, and we'll post this Monday morning, bright and early as soon as I wake up. Other worlds than ours, cool book on astronomy. Other worlds than ours, the plurality of worlds studied under the light of recent scientific researches by Richard A. Proctor. No date, but this one might be early 1900s. Let's see what we got for contents. We got what the Earth teaches us, what we learn from the Sun, the inferior planets, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, the Moon, and other satellites. Meteors and comets, other suns and ours, the minor stars, the nebula. I think there's a few nice color um, illustrations. There's a nice color illustration to Jupiter. I always seem to do well with them. Um, there you got Saturn, astronomy books. I haven't had any in quite a while, but I guess I got that one now. Uh, most of these will be up for sale on eBay. Most of you know I'm eBay seller Animal Vet 52. And most of these um, will auction off starting at 99 cents each. Plus shipping. Do have some pretty cool stuff up on eBay right now. This one's a little on the rough side. 
definitely on the rough side, but we got the Illuminated History of uh, North America by John Frost, 1855. Got the nice color frontispiece, The Landing of Columbus. Again, really nicely illustrated. So this one would have covered um, the settlers and colonies, the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812. I suppose the Spanish or the um, Mexican American War. Good, very nicely illustrated, a little on the rough side, but it looks like it had some repairs there on the cover hinges at one point in time. Kind of a beat up old copy, but pretty cool. American history book from 1859. I guess you can't be too picky when the book is 170 years old. First, we got New South Wales and Queenlands, Victoria and Tasmania by Anthony Trollope. Got the nice fold up map frontispiece. Not sure if these, this one's illustrated. Oh, there's another map. Another fold out map of Victoria. Let's see if there's any other illustrations. Nope, doesn't look like it. Just the. Oh, there's another map. There's a map of Queensland. Pretty nice. And there's a similar volume uh, Southern and Western Australia and New Zealand, again by Trollope. No date, but I think these are from the 1870s. And again, looks like there's a few different maps. Nice map of New Zealand. Pretty bindings as well. came from the UK. Been buying quite a bit from the UK lately. Usually shipping from the UK is pretty expensive. Um, this I think was two different auction lots. Well, a single um, book and then a lot. And I think shipping was about 50 or 60 bucks. But actually, I've been buying some big box lots from the UK lately. And usually, like, for a pretty heavy box, maybe a 30 or 40 pound box, um, it's probably about 120 to 150 shipping. There we go. This one is pretty special. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. What a spectacular writing on that one. I think I got a little carried away with the bidding. Um, I think this one cost me over $1,000. But um, 
1899. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen with an introduction by Joseph Jacobs and illustrations by Chris Hammond. Um, There were a few comparable copies of this that sold kind of in the $800 range. Um, But the condition on this one is uh, just about as good as you'll ever find it. So happy to own that one put in the bookstore. I don't think I'll list it online. I'll probably put it in the bookstore here in Marshfield for my local customers if you want to Really, really, really top quality Jane Austen. That's the one. I think this set was also pretty expensive, but again, the condition. Um, there was a lot of five tree calf leather books, which if you don't know, tree calf leather is where they take the leather. And I think they dye it to kind of have like the um, look of like a wood grain. So that's called tree calf leather. And again, that one's really, really beautiful. Uh, the Beauty of Britain, a pictorial survey. Introduced by J.B. Priestley, 2nd edition, uh, 1937. Looks like you got some really beautiful illustrations of Britain. And again, great, 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 great condition. Uh, We've got a book on mythology, The Heroes by Kingsley. And again, really beautiful condition. Nice tree calf binding. The Heroes or Greek Fairy Tales for My Children by Charles Kingsley, illustrated uh, by W. Russell Flint. Really interesting book on mythology with some nice color illustrations. And again, condition, condition, condition. If this one was in rough condition, it'd be like a $30 or $40 book, but being so darn nice. It's probably like $150 or $200 book. Uh, we've got British Birds. Again, really nice tree calf binding. Um, here's the binder's mark. It looks like it was bound by Bickers and Son and Limited in London. And a shoot, what just happened? I just dropped a four leaf. Oh, there it is. There was a four leaf clover. That fell out. Hope that's my gonna change my luck. Hopefully, uh, British Birds by W. H. Hudson with eight color plates and 128 illustrations in black and white. Sounds a little graphic, but it's okay, I guess. Let's see, is there a date? 1937. There's a pretty little bird. The bearded titmouse. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got two more similar tree calf bindings here. Uh, British soldier heroes. Beautiful binding and absolutely amazing condition on that one. British Soldier Heroes from Crom- Cromwell to Wellington, edited by Spencer Wilkinson. Uh, illustrated, no date, but again, probably 1930s era. There you got a portrait of Cromwell. Got Admiral Ed- Edward Boscoin. Boscoin. William Augustus, the Duke of Cumberland. Quite a... Quite a portly fellow. General James Wolfe. I think he was involved in the French Indian Wars. Let's see. James Wolfe was born on January 2nd, 1727. Let's 
see if I'm right about that. Yep, there we go. Canada, British colonies in Canada. I'll let you read that. I do know a tiny little bit about history. Last one, nice copy of Don Quixote, again with the full tree calf leather. The Adventures of Don Quixote by Cervantes, 1930. Again, look at the condition of that. Absolutely near fine. Excellent. Let's see, this was a collection of 10 um, kind of like household amusement books. The Art of Amusing. The Art of Amusing. Being a collection of graceful arts, merry games, odd tricks, curious puzzles, and new charades, together with their suggestions for private theatrical tabloids and other sorts of parlor and family amusements by Frank Bellew, published in 1864. Yep, 1864, yep. So kind of home amusement, magic tricks, etc., etc. I think I got a, little, a really good deal on this uh, book lot. I think I paid less than 100 bucks with shipping. Should be a nice profit at that price. See every boy's book with a nice in a nice leather binding. Every boy's book, Encyclopedia of Sports and Amusements, edited by M. M. Edmund Rut uh, Rutledge, 1884. Looks like it's nicely illustrated as well. We got fencing. Oh, we got bicycles. Croquet. Fishing, spectrum analysis, the microscope, magnetism, acoustics, swimming, skating, golfing. Let's see what we got for golfing. Let's see if there's any cool illustrations of golfing. Oh, there's the golf club. Oh, gymnastics. Mounting the high wheel bike, that's pretty cool. Again, this book, cricket, um, archery, fishing, tops, marbles, kites. Pretty, uh, pretty fantastic for being from 1885. The Happy Home. Happy Home of Entertainment, Instruction, and Amusement. A library of entertainment, instructions, and amusements embracing firefied gems from our popular poets, the model speaker and reciter, games, amusements, and sports, the songs we love to sing, the home book of etiquette, wonderful and remarkable things and facts, biography and anecdotes of the great. Copyright 1909. So we've got a couple paper ones. We got Dick's Parlor ex exhibitions. Uh, containing a large and varied collection of elegant home amusements, including tableau villains, simple and elaborate, living portraits, ballads, etc., etc., etc. Got Dick's 100 Amusements. Oh, looks like we got some cool magic tricks. The 
some sort of show. Hmm. Pretty funny. Here we have Festivals, Games, Amusements, Ancient and Modern by Horatio Smith, 1831. So he got a frontispiece of Hawking. Festival Games, Olympic Games, Gladiator Games, Modern Festivals, Holiday Notices, Field Sports, Hawking and Archery, Bullfighting, Dancing, Jugglers, Music and minstrels, chess, English drama, and playhouse notices. Well, oh, this one is illustrated as well. Oh, I don't think there's too many illustrations, but it looks like there's a few folding plates. Topography of Olympia. Very cool, 1831. Dang, that was a good deal. Uh, we got a nice copy, Indoor Sports. The Boys Own Book of Indoor Sports and Choice Parlor Games by Professor Blitz. No date, but I could, could guess this one's from the 1890s. Magic Music, you got the Musical Fright. Punch and Judy. Magic, here's a section on magic. Woo Again, indoor sports, pretty awesome. Then we got kind of a matching evening amusements. Evening Amusements for Everyone, a collection of mirthful games, parlor pastimes, shadow plays, magic, conjuring, card tricks, chemical surprises, fireworks, forfeits, etc. Again, no date, but again, 1890s. Um, by the way, if you're interested in any of these, feel free to reach out right away. Send me a message on Facebook or eBay um, or Instagram, whichever other place you want to follow me. Or give me a call if you can track down my number online. Um... These are all are all for sale, so if you want to know prices and shipping and all that stuff, feel free to reach out very quickly. Um, can hopefully get you a quote, um, and hopefully we can make a deal if I don't get them listed on eBay right away. Uh, what shall we do tonight? Or social amusements for evening parties, furnishing complete and various programs for 26 entertainments by... Ledger D. Main. Uh, 1873. Copyright. I think it's probably closer to the 1890s. Again, fun little home amusement book. Nice box full. Big old pictorial Bible. Pretty nice condition. A few little scuffs, but the cover hinges are still solid. Nice tight binding. Uh, 
let's see, published in 1889. Get a nice, big, beautiful binding. I think this was a couple um, small lots of books that I bought. Students Mythology by C.A. White, 1878. No illustrations, but that's all right. Cool book on mythology. Historical sketches of statesmen who uh, flourished in the time of King George III. Uh, series, third series, volume one by Henry Lord Broughton, 1845. So just a cool book on, um, British statesmen. Looks like this one has a library binding. King Edward and his time. Nothing too exciting about that one. Post 1849. It's not too exciting. Short history of the English people. Uh, by J.R. Green, published in 1877. Common pair, prayer, fair condition, a little on the rough side. Book of Common Prayer, published in 1866. Again, a little on the rough side, but that's okay. It's 150, 160, 70, 170 years old, something like that. Uh, the first Sundays at church or familiar conversations on the morning and evening services of the Church of England by Reverend J.E. Riddle, 1841. Uh, the Manhood of the Master by Henry Emerson Fosdick, 1923. Again, a little on the rough side. This one's kind of cool with the cross on the front cover and the chalice on the rear cover. Oh, and it is in German. 1861, religious book. Guessing this is another Bible. I have been buying lots and lots of Bibles lately. But I always seem to do pretty well with them online. Put a few nice ones in the store as well for my local customers. Anyone locals looking for a nice um, early Bible. I think I have five or six different options of Bibles from the... They range from like the 1840s to the 1890s. Another big, beautiful leather binding. Really nice condition, man. Beautiful red leather. Check out the details. The Comprehensive Bible containing the Old and New Testament, uh, 1856. And again, pretty, pretty beautiful Bible. Uh, Binding on that one. In very nice condition. Oops.
usually I do have to pay two to three hundred dollars for these Bibles. Um, I think low end when I auction them off, they should bring two fifty to three. Um, but my last one I think brought eight hundred dollars, so that was pretty awesome. But most of these I would expect to bring somewhere in the three to five hundred dollar range. Um, this one's in German, but again, a really, really, really stunning binding on this one. It's a big bugger. And again, same design on the back cover. Oh, there's a little scuff there, it looks like. Got the clasps. Nice tight binding, appreciate that. Most of these that you find, the covers have fallen off. The bindings loose, detached pages. Let's see if there's a copyright date in this one. 1889. Again, beautiful binding. Like that one, too. This box came from the UK as well. I think it was just a random collection of uh, leather bound books. Some of them are really exciting, some of them not so much. Wesley's Hymns. Pretty nice condition. A collection of hymns for the use of the people called Methodist by John Wesley. No date, but I would guess this one is from the 1850s or 1860s, maybe. Really nice condition. This one has a kind of an amateur leather, uh, modern leather binding. A uh, handbook on logarithms and trigonometry, published in 1886 in Berlin. It is in German. Looks like you got the log uh, logarithm tables. Hmm. That one's kind of unexciting. Unless you're into math, in which case it is exciting. Here we got a charge delivered in November 1857 to the clergy of the Diocese of London at his primary visitation by uh, Archibald Campbell, Lord Bishop of London, 1858. Charge, my, rev my reverend brethren, I have been reminded by some of you that the 17th day of November is the 300th anniversary of the ascension of Queen Elizabeth and of the close of the reviving effort of Romanism so which close of that reviving so which let's see which so solely tried this church and nation during the five years of her sister's reign I have been reminded also that it was long the, that it was long the custom to honor this day in token of thankfulness for the great results secured to us when God's overruling Providence placed and maintained Queen Elizabeth on the throne. Get winded reading sometimes. Oh, and actually it looks like it was a collection of different charges. That was just the first one. The Word of God and the Ground of Faith, Part 2, Five Discourses by Archibald Campbell, 1864. 
uh, a primary charge addressed to the clergy of his diocese, 1864 again. A charge intended for delivery to the clergy of the Diocese of Canterbury, 1868. So it looks like just a compilation of his different charges to the church. We got, what have we got, Clemens Herve by Eugene Sue, 1862, published in Paris. So it is in Francais. I don't know French, so don't have too much to tell you about that one. Ooh, I like this one. I like this one. Uh, we got Cowper's Poetical Works. And I think I have a couple very similar to this uh leather binding the poetical works of William Cowper with his life six and illustrations no date might be 1870s ish again quite a pretty leather binding on that one Oh, and we got a matching one of Milton's poetical works. I know John Milton is very popular these days. Very highly sought after. Looks like we have another French volume. This one has a nice leather prize binding. Uh, it was given to a student at the North Hollerton Grammar School. Uh, Farm Prize 3 to Audrey... Holiday, looks like it was given by J.W. Bearder, Ph.D., 1918. John Halifax, Gentleman, by Dinah Marie Craig, published in 1914. Just a nice uh, leather prize binding on that one. French volume. Notes and queries for readers and writers, collectors and librarians, uh, July to December Nerds, um, notes and queries. This one is from July to December, 1872. Notes and queries, July, December to 18, 1852. And January to June, 1941. Uh, 
uh, here's a bunch of odd volumes of the works of Robert Louis Stevenson. We got St. Ives, John Nicholson, Story of a Lie, Body Snatcher, Master of Balantre, Weir of uh, Hermiston. We got the New Arabian Nights and the Dynamiter, Merry Men, jo Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and Prince Otto. We got Inland Voyages and Travels with the Donkey. Treasure Island, that one looks like the front cover's about to fall off. Maybe someone would want that one for decoration. We got Kidnapped and David Balfour. Wrong Box, Ebb Tide, Island Nights Entertainments. I think it was just the one volume that had um, some condition issues. And The Wrecker. The other ones are pretty nice. Surprise, surprise, another Bible. Ooh, that one's pretty. Very unique design. Uh, there's the previous owner's name, Horatio Moore. And this one has a publishing date of 1871. There you got the dictionary, uh, the Bible dictionary in the front. Hundreds and hundreds of illustrations. Darn, I bought four Bibles this week. That's kind of cool. The three of them I bought from one seller. This is a huge collection of these little buggers. Um, there's Shakespeare, there's a bunch of different authors, there's Haunted Man, so there's a few different um, Charles Dickens Christmas stories. The Haunted Man and Ghost Bargain by Charles Dickens, 1891. I think they're all from the 1890s. And I think there's 90 different titles. Battle of Life, there's the Mother Dickens, you got uh, Mungo Park's Travels, Shakespeare on the top there. I'm not quite sure why I bought these cheap editions, but I guess there's a million different titles, so should be able to make something out of them. Lake, Plutarch, Midsummer Night's Dream. King John, King Lear, Pepe, Pepe's Diary, Timon of Athens, Paradise Regained. King Henry the 
Fifth, Julius Caesar, Roman and Ju- Romeo and Juliet, Bacon's essays, Pope's essay on man. Got Measure for Measure, The Tempest, King Henry the Eighth, King Richard the Third. Much Ado About Nothing. There's the other volume of Mungo Park's Travels. Heroes and Hero hero Worship. There's The Christmas Carol and the Chimes by Dickens. Paradise Lost, The Twelfth Night, Othello, As You Like It. Tale, the Taming of the Shrew, Macbeth, King Henry the Sixth, History of James the Second, Knickerbocker's History of New York, King Richard the Second, Benjamin Franklin, Cricket on the Hearth, Paradise Lost. King Henry the Fourth, Mary Wise of Windsor, Castle of Atronto, and Plutarch's Lives again, another volume. All right, well that's it for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and again, hopefully um, on Tuesday I'm planning on going to Baroqua Driftless Books. They're opening up for the year. I'm looking forward to uh, showing off that bookstore. Hopefully buying some cool stuff. All right, have a great day, everyone.